Hey guys, Stinger 30 here. Um, I thought I'd share with you guys what I've been bought and made for myself. I bought one of these gel pads. Um, it's a gel seat pad. You can sort of squash them down a bit here and you can see it sort of pop out a bit. Let's see if I can roll my thumb across here and show you how much this thing wiggles around a bit like. It's got a fair bit of play in it. Um, so, it's actually, um, as you can see, it's about as, about as fat as my little finger. It's, I don't know, not quite 10 millimeters thick, but it's pretty close to it, I suppose. Now, what you're supposed to do is on your original seat, like you see in the original seat there, you're supposed to pull the seat off, um, pull out all the staples, um, remove the vinyl, cut the foam back so it's the same thickness as this, um, and then put this down on top and then put the vinyl back down and then staple it all back together. Well, uh, I'm not keen on not on doing that idea. If you want to go ahead and do that, that's what you're supposed to do. Knock yourself out. But what I did was, I grabbed an old sheepskin seat cover. Well, it's actually a new sheepskin seat cover. Um, I've actually had it now for probably almost 12 months now. This actually started as a sheepskin seat cover for a car. I actually picked this thing up on a throwaway rack at a local discount shop, and I paid ten dollars for it. Can't remember what it did, but they actually ten dollars for two of them. So this is actually, as you can see, it's it's just a normal sheepskin seat cover. And what I did was I cut the thing out and um, turned the inside out. I laid the gel pad down on top and ran a nicko around the outside and drew like a triangle of it, like that, and then stitched up from the corner up around here to about there and then from the corner from the corner up along here around the edge to about there and I've actually left there's a bit of a hole down the front as you can see and I left that down the front because when I made this thing I actually made this thing inside out um, so I could do the proper stitching on the inside and this is actually you can actually sort of see the, um, the fishing line that I used it's about I think from memory it's about 15 or 16 kilo fishing line. It's about 30 or 32 pound fishing line. Um, and what I used um, to stitch it all together with, I used a dirty great big needle, stitching needle. It's almost you know, two or three inches long, about that long. And it's about two or three millimeters round. And I sit down and I hand stitched thing up. Chopped off the excess and with that hole through the center, um, I managed to push it all around. So it was actually inside out. So even though it sits here like this, and you see it the right way around. Um, I didn't actually stitch it like that. I actually stitched up from the inside. Um, and you can see the edges like, seriously, like if you can sort of see that some of the join marks across here where my thumb is, like you're doing pretty good. It's actually came together quite well. I didn't do tiny little stitchings either. I thought, oh, it might be fancy. This I actually did my, my gaps for my stitches probably about one inch apart. And it's actually turned out really really well. Um, you can sort of see a bit of a line down along the edge but I'm quite impressed. Um, so yeah what you're doing now is just you roll the roll this fella here up. I mean it's a little bit hard to do with this with, with one hand hanging on the camera. And, but anyhow you roll him up in a little roll slot him inside the, the hole down in here straighten him out and then you put a whole lot down on top of the seat um, and as you can see it covers up the seat quite nicely and um, off you go for a ride. Um, it does a fantastic job of eliminating the vibration around town. I don't even bother with it on the 300. Um, there is a bit of a vibration to the seat on the 300 uh, around town, but it's not not that much to bother me. However, I've done a few trips out of town and done over 400 kilometres in a day. And the vibration through the seat at around about 100 kilometres an hour is just ridiculous. Um, this seat, honestly, it feels like you're sitting on concrete. Like it's actually a lot more. It's got a lot more give in it now. I've got just over 2,000 k's on it. It's got a lot more give um, than when I first had it. Seriously, like when I first got it, it was like you know trying to sit on the fuel tank. Like as you can see, the fuel tank's got no give in it. When I sit there and push on it, honestly, that's what it was like on the seat when I first got it. Um, so the beauty of me doing it like this is that I can take this seat pad with me and put it on any motorcycle I want. 
um, or any chair they want or anything like that so um, it's up to you how you want to go um, but yeah it's seriously it's cost me probably no more than seventy dollars I suppose that was you know I think it's about forty or fifty dollars for this fella you know a couple of bucks freight to get the thing here and you know, ten dollars for that and a little bit of my time to get this thing all stitched together it's come together very very well I'm extremely extremely impressed I'll just sit him up here with you can sort of see how much it covers the whole seat so I'll even walk around the other side so you can see it, how much it's covered the seat like it's pretty much got everything covered so so yeah um, if you don't have a million dollars to your name and you want some sort of um, inexpensive alternative to get yourself a decent um, decent little sort of seat cover type thing to get rid of soreness out of your backside I highly recommend this to you um, if you have any questions just ask. Cheers.